Welcome to a preview of some of the Steam VR projects that I've been working on recently. This here is a cyberpunk city where I wanted to give myself a full body presence in VR. You can see each of the Steam VR hands um, have using Final IK to run a body rig for the model UI from Mixamo. All these assets came from a Dark City 2 cyberpunk pack by Isle Ranch. It has some really nice details in here. Uh, I took it upon myself to actually do all the layout and fighting and things. I also experimented a little bit with teleporting with the scene. It uh, makes for a nice quick way to navigate from the scene. And look forward to more to come. In this project, I took an Iron Man model that I found on Sketchfab, took it into Maya and rigged it with a Mixamo skeleton. And I built a painting of the weights, Bones, uh, and set all the pivots and everything uh, so that I could bring it into Unity and hook it up with Final IK to a VR rig. See here, I'm just testing my limits and stuff, making sure that I got everything set right. I also took the Steam VR, tested the snap turn, to make sure that that would still work with Final IK, and it's a pretty good job. Next up is to make Iron Man fly. In this fun little project, I took some assets from the Nature Starter Kit 2 and CU Cat 2 uh, that I found on the Unity Asset Store. And it came with a bunch of uh, toys that I could play with cats. Um, and I wanted to test to make sure that I could use an animation controller to drive the cat's behavior um, based on its proximity to the toys. So I would trigger specific animation to see that I also did tracking for the toys and the objects. So he would face the right direction, and then based on its proximity, he would um, trigger different animations. This here is a concept piece I designed uh, for logging ads within VR. You can see that I'm tracking focused, watched, listened, and interactions with different ad objects. Um, have timers running on the objects that are triggered based on whether um, their angle to the um, camera is within the camera's field of view. And I'm also doing a ray cast and see if I hit the object directly. If I do, then it's considered I'm focused on the object. See here, I've got some interactable objects, uh, some Coke cans and Coke bottles. Um, interact with them, the, the timer starts, and when you stop interacting, See if we update the timers uh, on that object. Uh, each object tracks its own interactions and its own um, listeners uh, and timers. You can also see here that I have a video going. Uh, the video uh, has the same tracking on it, uh, the Jumbotron, uh, the focus and everything, but the thing it has different is it also has audio fall off, uh, which is a 3D sound source. So if I'm outside of that range, I can that I'm no longer listening to that object or for how long I'm listening to it. And that's about it.